Hey, hey, BZ here, back in the Neon Doom Room again. Today, it's going to be a final day for 2023 of one of our episodes. Well, all of them, but there's another one of our physical media ones due very soon. Been a bit lazy. But today is the final episode for 2023 on the 26th of December. 26th episode. That's right, it's Toy Doom Tuesday. That's right guys, it is the 26th episode on the 26th of December of Toy Doom Tuesday. And today, I'm not going to talk for long. It's not a very long episode, it's very short. And I'll tell you the reason why. It's because my daughters both went out, outside of the normal Christmas presents that were bought. They went out and got me a present together on their own for me. Beautiful present. It's actually a Star Wars present, so I was very happy about that. They told me to open it, I opened it. And I could not believe it, they went out and bought me a Funko Pop for Star Wars, which is awesome. Now, I'll show it to you in a second. It's not one of the ones I would normally have bought, but I actually really like it. And I'll, re I'll tell you why I really like it in a minute. So let's have a look at it, shall we? So, let's have a look at what they got me. Dun, 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 dun. It's a Star Wars Ahsoka toy. It is, in fact, Marok, as you can see. You can see my own reflection. Hello, there I am in the background in the reflection. Hello. It's Marok. Now, a very enigmatic character. A character we still don't really know who he is. He came, he got killed, he turned into green mist, and he went. I'm assuming it's a he, I don't know, his voice sounded male. But yes, it's the Funko Pop number 651 from Ahsoka, because you can see it's soak on the back. Marok. There's Marok. It's a really cool pose. I actually really like it. I opened it, I was like, it's Marok, and then I had a look at it. And uh, I was impressed with how it looks. It's really cool. Oh, sorry, I'll show you this side. It's really cool. He's got a great pose. He's got his cape billowing in the wind. And you can't see inside, see inside the visor. I mean, it's been painted on. Little gaps in the visor. But he's a cool looking figurine. He's, he's really awesome. I, I really love it. It's definitely not a figurine, not a Funko Pop I would have picked up on my own. Maybe not immediately. Not that I go out and buy every Funko Pop. If I did, I eventually would have got it. But yes, it's Ahsoka's Marok. And it looks great. And there's the rest of them on the back. Just to show you those. There's Ahsoka. There's Marok. There's uh, Professor Huyang. There is uh, Hera. Hera? Hera's General Hera Sundula. And that one is obviously Chopper. Or they call him C110P. Chopper. Everyone's favorite Chopper. You can't find Chopper anywhere, even though they released Chopper in figurine form recently. I did see it on a shelf once, so I didn't buy it, and I wish I did. But yeah, Chopper is a very, very hard to grab figurine now. Everyone buys him. I think they resell him. But there you go. There's Marok. I need to get some more light. Hang on. Right, can you see Marok now? You can just see me. That's annoying. There you go. There's Marok. There's Marok. I should have put more light in here. But he looks like that. He looks cool. He's going to stay in his packaging for now, I think. Uh, I like his visor. I mean, look, the gaps are painted on. Really, really love the pose. Paint apps are really nice. I actually, uh, I like the armor. I like the color of the armor. They've done it really, really well. Because he had a really subdued color to his armor. It was almost like, uh, I don't know, like a matte metallic look to him. Uh, because he was raised from the dead and used to be an inquisitor uh, they hid his whole body so that you wouldn't see any wounds or maybe that his face was like white or green or whatever color but look really love it it's just a short episode i just wanted to show you that my kids bought this for me it's got marrick on the side i just am really grateful they went out and chose something for me they said oh we couldn't find anything else that you might like but we found this one we hope you like this one and i think it's awesome so thank you kids i really appreciate it thanks girls there's marrock Let's try and figure out who Marok really was, because there's got to be some lore to Marok. Hopefully there's some uh, some canon lore to Marok. We can figure out where the character came from. That would be awesome. Anyway, so that's the only thing I wanted to show you today, is a Christmas present from my daughters to me. Uh, I got other things as well, but they went and got this on their own as well. I think they chipped in together. So very grateful for that. There's a little crease on the back, but I'm not terribly worried about that. It might eventually even come out of the box one day. But uh, with the room I've got in here, I need to just stack things next to each other. 
anyway so that's what i've got for this one i just want to let you know as well that uh toy Dim tuesday is going to be offline for a little bit i'm not sure if i'm going to take offline the uh op shop finds ones i i need a little bit of a break from everything um so my works went winding down we'll talk about that a little bit later on as well and what i mean by that um and i did do a final uh jb hi-fi hunt today on boxing day to get some deals and i got some good deals but uh, i saw a lot more i wish i could have bought but yes we're all going to talk about that in 2024 i can't cram everything into the week it's been a huge christmas and lead up to christmas i'm sure for you and your families as well uh there are some things on the cards for neon doom room uh i have been rethinking uh, thinking about rejigging the way that I run uh, Neon Doom Room. I have some success with with uh, subscribers and people following and watching my videos, but I think that we need to step it up a little bit. Uh, and in the interest of following some other people that I follow that do vlogs or vlogs, um, like proper vlogs, I'm thinking of transitioning, well actually planning already on transitioning some stuff into next year uh, into a vlog. So it's initially going to be like this, just a pre-recorded one, maybe with a lot more other outtakes and stuff in it, uh, and run for maybe 40 minutes to an hour, even though that is kind of paid. We're going to cover a lot of different things. It's going to be for adults only, uh, 18 plus. So I can be a bit more free with my language, and I can be a bit more free about the topics I talk about. Toy Dem Tuesday, just to let you know, will continue. That's not going to go yet, uh, until I'm either bored of it, or I can't fit any more toys in the room here. Obviously, I haven't met my needs on all of the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Mutant Mayhem figurines. I have had trouble with those recently. So um, maybe you'll find more, who knows. But yes, we're going to do a 2024 at some stage, hopefully beginning late January. Hopefully, don't hold me to it. We're going to start a vlog. It's going to mean uh, it might not be regularly. It might be starting off at about once a month, maybe once uh, every three weeks. And then uh, it will turn into eventually a live stream. That's the plan. I don't have all the equipment I want right now and I'm changing the room up again a little bit in that back corner. Instead of having a bench and a TV, uh, another TV there, it's going to hopefully be a little mini computer table. That, that's the plan, we'll see. And we'll get a computer and we'll do a bunch of uh, live streaming. But right now uh, I'm more than happy to start it off as a pre-recorded vlog. Uh, like I said, I get to talk a little bit more freely. I can talk a bit more adult content, obviously like, you know, movies that have uh, a lot more of an adult content and not try to censor myself all the time, which I do for Neon Doom Room, which is fine. I don't mind doing that. Um, but yes, we're looking to look forward to a vlog in the new year, potentially, and also continuing with Toy Doom Tuesday. But we're going to have some more visitors in here as well. So you might have met Richard in the past. You've also probably met Craig and and Mark McBride, the well-known artist and also a good buddy of mine who I uh, worked on Del Tora. Uh, have them come in, watch a movie, talk about something, uh, have a chat about you know what they've done in the past. Uh, music, we're gonna talk about music a little bit more. Uh, just a lot of media. We're gonna talk about a lot of media, a lot of things we like, a lot of things we watch, maybe toys we collect. I don't know how many of the guys collect toys, but we'll have other people on for that as well. It's really just going to be more like the variety channel that I actually am, except there's not going to be censorship, really. I mean, we're going to be we're going to be careful, but not overly careful. Um, so it should be fun and more of a laugh. And you get to see me, I guess, be more of myself around uh, my friends and also around the content that I usually like to talk about, as opposed to, uh, you know, making sure I'm, I'm dotting my I's and crossing my T's when I when I chat to you guys. Anyway. Uh, so I'll leave it there. I want to wish you and your families and your friends a, uh, a Merry Christmas. I know it's past, but I didn't get the chance to say it before. Thank you to all those who subscribed in 2023. And I hope that you stick around for 2024. We're going to try to up the ante a little bit for the new year. I'm pretty happy with how things are going. I think we can aim higher. Um, and let's see where it takes us. And also, New Year's is coming up. I'm not going to do any New Year's videos or anything like that. I might post something on Instagram potentially. But I want to wish you a happy New Year and a wonderful end to your 2023. And I wish you a fortuitous and a wonderful 2024. And keep collecting, keep looking for those toys, keep finding those movies, even the rare ones, the ones you're chasing, you just can't find. 
keep chasing those movies, the physical media, keep listening to music, share music with your friends, share music with your family, with strangers where you can as well. Some of the best music I listen to is from not just my friends, but from strangers as well who give me something and say, hey, try this, and I end up really liking it. Don't like everything, but like it does happen. I, I listen to new music based on what other people tell me. So share your passion, you know, share it as far as you can. Obviously don't push it and, um, you know, let's all become a giant community. Doesn't matter what you collect, collect something and let's chat about it. 2024 is coming really soon. Before I stumble over my words any further, I'm gonna leave it here. And I almost forgot, don't forget to like and subscribe. There is a bell up here, it's really down here. Don't press that one, press this one and uh, I'll, I'll let the other guy keep talking. Thanks so much guys, love your loads. We'll talk to you in the new year. BZ, out. G'day, g'day. G'day, g'day. How are you going? Why do you know? We'll strike a light. G'day, g'day. Well, how are you going? Say g'day, 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 and you'll be right. Or something like that.